Hexagrams for a Safer Future by Mrs. Larson, Aaron, Anderson, Chloe, Jeannie, Pranav, Sachi, and Turner. Where we come from. We represent John F. Kennedy Middle School in Cupertino, California. We want to help improve urban planning in our environment in several ways, and that's why we came up with Hexagroups, our prompt. Imagine you're in charge of designing roads in your town. How can you improve the role of urban planning and infrastructure design to create safer roads? Provide one to two examples of how changes in road design can enhance safety. Consider materials and technology that would also contribute to reduce the impact of transportation on climate change. Causes of accidents. We know that there is a wide variety of accidents that take place each year. So we decided to focus on why accidents happen specific to the Bay Area and our city. After some intentional research and observations, we found out that the most common causes of accidents are speeding because people are always in a rush to get to their destination, poor weather like rain, low visibility, distracted driving, and drunk driving. Specifically, the causes that lead to the most deaths in Cupertino are slippery roads, lack of friction, speeding, and lack of awareness. On top of frequent traffic-related accidents, some things that directly impact our lives are the school traffic rush before and after school, complicated school areas that have crowded exits, and the inadequate use of public transportation. Most of these challenges can be fixed upon implementing the right solutions. Thus, to address our most prevalent problems, we've created hexagrooves. Our newly designed grooves turn ordinary road grooves into hexagonal indents, which carry the perks of being able to irrigate rainwater more efficiently and texture specific areas of the road to add friction. This extra friction will help prevent skidding, which can be especially dangerous when drivers are speeding. Here's how they would be applied and used. As mentioned before, some of the biggest issues we are facing are slippery roads due to not enough friction, rain, speeding, and lack of awareness. Currently, there already is a solution that tackles three of these problems. This solution is road grooves. Traditional road grooves are straight and run along the direction of the road to decrease the chances of hydroplaning and skidding on wet roads. They do this by providing more friction and surface area for the water to disperse across. However, there are a couple of flaws to these traditional straight road grooves, which is that they only disperse water in one direction and can cause vehicles, specifically motorcycles, to weave. By changing the design of these grooves into a different shape, such as hexagons, which are the strongest shapes and best at distributing weight, as well as forming uniformed connections, we can improve the abilities of ordinary road grooves. Hexagonal road grooves would not only allow rainwater to run off and disperse in all directions, but prevent weaving and the chances of handling loss. Ideally, these hexagons would be two and a half inches big, with their height being around a half or a fourth inch and one fourth inch apart from each other. As of location-wise, we believe that these hexagonal grooves would be useful in all areas, including highways and other areas in general that need more friction. How we got there. We have the idea of groups through line groups. Initially, we thought that cars would be unstable driving on the rough surface, so we did further research. Then we made prototypes, tested, and redesigned until we thought that our solution was the most effective, and we were happy with it. Another perk of hexagonal grooves are that they can be used to make detectable areas to signal drivers to slow down. This is because the hexagons could be individually raised in increments to create a bumpy surface that could be layered out in front of busy intersections or high pedestrian areas to alert drivers to slow down. These would behave just like the yellow bumps on sidewalks or in front of grocery stores. Regular hexagrooves would be evenly spaced throughout all roads and will all be the same height. Purple hexagrooves called hexabumps will only be at intersections and vary in height as shown. As the video stated, hexagrooves help increase friction, irrigate rainwater, and warn drivers. This is how these things would be applied in the real world. 
The indented hexagonal outlines of the hex screws will catch the rainwater, bring it to the drain, and prevent accidents that involve vehicles slipping on rainwater. The height changes for purple hex screws would act as a warning signal to cause noise and vibrations that alert drivers in areas where they need to heat caution, causing them to focus on the road, preventing accidents caused by distracted drivers. Additionally, these hexabumps would be particularly useful because normal speed bumps can cause big and disruptive movements to cars and can even create scratches underneath, which cause drivers to purposely try to avoid them, defeating the whole purpose of making them in the first place. By implementing smaller patches of tinier bumps with raised hexagons or hexabumps, drivers would not only feel much smaller movements, but also still know to slow down. Moreover, if these bumpy hexagons were to be used to replace speed bumps, carbon emission levels would decrease greatly because speed bumps require cars to use more gas in order to brake and accelerate. Materials. We will be using machines to make indents in asphalt. Asphalt should be used instead of concrete because they resist damage much more than concrete or plastic speed bumps. These hexagonal indents can be made in warm and cold asphalt mixed together. The hexabumps can be laid in lower temperatures, causing less greenhouse gases to be made because of them. This option is an eco-friendly way of making hexabumps. Speaking of construction process, in short, these hexagonal grooves could be very easily and very cost efficiently constructed by adapting the method of how bricks are designed and stamped into concrete. By heating up asphalt roads with a heavy-duty infrared machine and stamping the outlines of hexagons into the heated asphalt, we will get a permanent imprint. Additionally, a hypothetical process of how we can more quickly create hexagons, specifically our hexagon bumps, is by changing concrete compacting machines which are used during the process of constructing roads. This process would specifically help to make the hexagon bumps because workers would just need to add more asphalt so that when the machine rolls over a specific area, the extra asphalt would fill up the roller's design and become taller hexagons creating those bumps. Our final solution of hexagonal shaped grooves with an indented outline can aid in irrigating rainwaters effectively and to raise awareness about speeding while driving. Therefore, in combination with the already implemented sloped curves, rumble strips, and our two versions of hexagonal textured roads, the risks of hydroplaning and skidding would be significantly decreased, all the while increasing driver attentiveness and sustainability. We believe our design can not only help our community to reduce traffic accidents, but also be a little kinder to our planet. Thank you for considering us.